Guys, how are we doing today? We're going to be going through a secret sale. This is a YouTube exclusive. This is the only place to find these prices. They are not going to be on my website. I'm not going to have them on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere else. So in fact, I'm not even going to put the prices in the description. I had to make a little cheat sheet right here. I wrote everything down that we're going to go through because I'm not going to update these prices online on my website at all. Okay. So pay attention. We're going to go tractor by tractor. We're going to go right to my website and you can see each listing on there. So you'll see a brief description about the tractor with the hours and that kind of thing, along with pictures and everything. Make sure you go there afterwards and check them out. But again, the updated pricing is only going to be in this video. So a couple things to note really quick here. If you were around for my previous sale that I did, the same concept is going to apply here. You need to buy at least two attachments at regular price to get the sales price. I simply have to make profit somewhere. And so that's the way I'm trying to do it is give you some really good discounts on the tractors themselves and then try to recoup some of that with the attachments. You know, it's I got to make money somewhere, right? Two, this is only good until the end of the month. OK, and so you're lucky because you have an extra day. It's leap leap year this year. So um, you've got 29 days in February instead of 28. So you do get an extra day that way. Also, we can help with financing and delivery, too. So it's a one page application that you need to submit uh, with a copy of your driver's license, typically here back the same day or the next day. At worst case scenario, if you have a score above 700, it's essentially a guaranteed approval. And we can go from 60 months out to 84 months. You can go shorter as well, but the most common are 60 to 84 months right in there. Really competitive rates also. And so this is also going to include some new listings that I have. They don't have a full complement of pictures yet. They just came in, but I wanted to include them in this sale. So check back on those listings over the coming days because they'll be updated with new pictures as well. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and get into it here. And uh, I'm just going to kind of go through the computer screen here on the website here and navigate and talk you through it here. But this is the home screen. You know, you can get some more information about me here. Inventory is where we're going to spend the majority of our time today. You know, if you guys are local, I do do some service work as well. Not as much as I used to. I just simply don't have the time. So I'd like to get back into that. It's just a matter of uh, priorities, you know, but uh, contact page here and then latest news. Do have quite a few articles on here if you are trying to really compare different models and that kind of thing or learn more about a certain model, uh, get some good information there as well. So if you want to click on inventory, you can just go right there and this is going to pull up all of my inventory on one page here, okay? Um, including the attachments and everything as well. But if you want to just go to a certain category, you can hover over the inventory page and you can go to compact tractors or subcompacts or tractor attachments. And one of the cool ones that I like and I wanted to have on here, and to be honest, I probably need to clean it out a little bit just because there's too many listings and I think it's slowing down the site a little bit, uh, but the recently sold. And so underneath there, you will see all the recently sold listings that I have, right? So you can get a lot of good uh, price point comparisons. And if you're shopping somewhere else, you can kind of have an idea of what track you sell for. And so I thought that would be kind of a cool feature to have on a website because um, it could be hard to know how much equipment is selling for. And so it gives you a little little bit of data there that can be otherwise hard to find. So I thought it would be a just a, a nice service to to offer that just to provide that kind of data for everybody else. So anyway, um, we're going to go to inventory. This is where we'll spend our time. And so again, I have a cheat sheet here that's just uh, written down next to me with the, the discounts on here that I had come up with after kind of calculating overhead and everything else just to get these prices as low as possible. So we'll keep it fun. We're just going to go through the way that they uh, appear on my website. That way it's all, you know, pretty much chronological. And you'll see underneath here are all the attachments that you can purchase with it. You know, sometimes different sizes and whatnot and colors are Sometimes they're in stock. Sometimes they have to be ordered. That's just the way it is. I, you know, I can't always stock everything in every size and every color combination all the time. So we'll do what we can here and uh, we'll, we'll definitely try to put a package together for you that makes you happy. All right. So first tractor up here is going to be a 2017 John Deere 3025E. Click on this one. This is the only one that's going to be in this sale that is not actually here on my lot at the moment. Um, hopefully by next weekend it's here all right and so only picture i have right now but it's from a dealer i do a lot of business with this is a um it, it's underneath the tier four compliance okay the the 25 25 horsepower machine here means that it does not require the regen system or def or any of that kind of stuff all right so that's one of the big draws it does have factory warranty it's a 2017 model and so it started out with a two-year bumper to bumper and a concurrent six-year powertrain warranty. So it's got the balance of that on it. So it's going to have a lot of warranty. Um, it just depends on when exactly it sold in 2017, or it could have even been into 2018 when it sold. Four-wheel drive, hydrostatic, 
you know, again, the 25 horsepower. So here's the highlights. And this is one of the nice things I like to include. And it doesn't list, it doesn't hit everything. You know, I don't want to make this a, a mile long paragraph, but this is going to be a, a decent um, recap here of just the, the the highlights, you know, so you have the factory warranty and the quick attach bucket and there's no emissions. Okay. And then just a few little options here that are easy ones to add on. There's of course more than this, but it's just a little bit of a short list. You'll see this one does have the R4 tires and, and everything else with it. And so this tractor, what we're doing is we're knocking out off $1,000, all right? We're going to take it down to 15, uh, from 15999 down to 14999 So, and again, you get to some of these lower price points and there's even thinner margins in some of the higher price points. So uh, we're going to have some, some definitely uh, other deals as well that you might be interested in. Okay. So, and also before I forget the description down here, you get some general information that's pretty much standard equipment uh, for the model here. Okay. So we'll just sit back. We'll go to the next one up and this one's going to be a John Deere 790. Okay. So this tractor is 27 horsepower. If you look, uh, on tractor data, for instance, you'll see that the earlier years this was made, it was actually, I think 30 or 31 horsepower, and then it's 27 horsepower in the last few years of production there. So, uh, not really a big deal. I don't know if you'll really notice that horsepower difference much at all. But uh, one thing to note is this is a gear drive tractor, okay? But another very interesting thing to note is it only has 69 hours on it, all right? So, um, and that is good and bad. You know, being 2006, it's 14 years old, you know, only, you know, roughly 70 hours on it is just not a lot of time. And so this tractor did sit a lot. Uh, tires are in good shape. does have a little bit of fading on the on the wheels there. And it's hard to see here, but there's a little bit of corrosion just on these panels here. And so this tractor is out of, um, oh, either Kentucky or Virginia, one of the two, I can't remember at the moment, but, um, you know, just sad. It's a little faded. You can see on here as well. I think I can buff most of this out. So I'm not really too concerned about that, but that's kind of the downside, right? Of a tractor that hasn't been used. It's good. It runs, it runs great. It has a brand new battery. You know, the battery went, went uh, bad on it. So it's got a brand new battery. Got a brand new seat for it as well. Just don't have it installed, but there's, this was on a horse farm and a, and a horse took a little bite out of the other side of the seat over there. Um, so really that's the only bad stuff about this, but uh, really nice tractor. I love getting the 790M whenever possible. Uh, quick park loader on here, quick attach bucket, high and low range uh, gear drive uh, tractor there. So again, some highlights right here for you in description down below. Okay. So we're doing what are we doing on this one? Let's see, 10.5. Okay, so we're knocking 1,500 bucks off. So $10,500 on this machine right here, all right? So I have a feeling this one is gonna be a hot commodity and it's not gonna last long. So again, get at least two attachments and it never hurts to buy more than that. <laughs> Next up here, we're gonna look at the 2017 2038R, okay? This is one of the creme de la creme machines that are out there on the market right now. This is a 2017 model, okay, 38 horsepower, high, low range, hydrostatic. Got the quick park loader, quick attach bucket. What else we have here in the highlights? We've got the uh, Auto Connect 60 inch drive over mower deck. Notice it does have the fender flares on there as well. You're going to have your fender work lights. You know, you've got the uh, the E throttle on here where you have the command cut as well with the mower deck, R4 tires. This is just really the cat's meow, guys. Um, 410 hours on here, hydrostatic transmission, of course, factory warranty. Um, I just got the date for that. I want to say it was 2024 that you have for the powertrain warranty until that expires. Okay. So a lot of factory warranty on that as well. Um, this one, what do we have it marked down to? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. We got two grand off on this one, man. So 22999. That's. That's an aggressive price on a 2038R. There's not many of these out, out there on the used market, and, and that is a very, very competitive price. So uh, grab that one if you want to. But um, yeah, two attachments for that. You know, again, you can run 60 inch cutters and tillers on this thing, no problem at all, or get some forks or a snow pusher, that kind of thing as well. So, all right, here we go. Next one. Next one up here is going to be the 2017 4066M, okay? And so this is a beautiful machine. One of those that, I mean, it's going to do whatever you want. This is the most horsepower you can get in a, a John Deere hydrostatic machine, okay? And so it's the four series frame size. You're going to lift well over 2,000 pounds with this front end loader. Go through the, uh, the highlights here really quick. Again, factory warranty, which is always nice to have. 
Um, I do have this written down, but you're going to have three or four years of factory warranty left on there. Quick attach bucket, yeah, 2,400 pounds of lifting capacity and a lot of attachments you can add on there, certainly. But you are going to have a three range hydrostatic transmission in this tractor here. OK, so um, super capable, very responsive on the loader joystick as well. A lot of three point lift capacity, have some huge old R4 tires here, very stable. This is you know, you get more and more stable the larger tractors you go as well. And the 4 Series is uh, where you finally start to feel comfortable without putting wheel spacers or perhaps dualies on a tractor. Um, but uh, you definitely have that lateral stability that you lack on some of those smaller machines. And that goes really well with that lifting capacity on the loader. So this machine here, we've got it at 3999 but we are going to be knocking off 2000 bucks on this one as well and taking it out to 28999 okay and these prices are of course you can see here plus tax as well only 129 hours on this machine okay next up here we're going to go through the 2018 3038 e all right again this one just came in you'll notice only thing that i have noticed on this one just the decals uh this decal and the other decal i have no idea why but the decals are kind of scruffy there uh, everything else is just fine on this tractor so um 355 hours on here, but 2018, a ton of warranty on this one as well, guys. Some of the highlights here, again, factory warranty, quick attach bucket, and this is the redesign model, okay? And so the redesign model, if you haven't looked before, um, I do have a comparison on the old versus new with the changes. The primary change is going to be in the, um, the fuel tank location. And so it's from the hood on the old one, and now it's going to be behind the seat. So a little bit more convenient location there, along with some redesign on the aesthetics of it primarily. And so um, pretty nice redesign there, although minimal in what it actually did. There's no change to the performance, to the, to the functionality of the tractor. It's going to be more cosmetic and a little bit of utility as far as with the location or relocation of the fuel tank. But um, we have this one, 18999. Let's take a look here. We're knocking 1500 bucks off on this one, guys. We're going to be doing, uh, let's see, 17499 on that. So that's uh, I don't. That's an insanely good price on on a 2018 30 30 80. Again, 38 horsepower here. So jump on that one and uh, get it while you can. Okay, let's see another 30 30 80. Kind of got on a roll here with the 38 horsepower tractors, <laughs> but that's okay. So this is a 2016 here. Uh, let's see. It's still going to have some factory warranty on it. I believe it has around two or two and a half years. This one, if I remember right, didn't get sold until late in that year, and so it had quite a bit of warranty left on it still. So again, these are all four wheel drive machines here. All of them, except for that 790 are hydrostatic machines as well. And they're all gonna have quick attach buckets, that kind of thing, and, and uh, power steering, a lot of good standard features there. And so highlights on this one, again, the factory warranty quick attach bucket and super low hours, only about 106 hours on this machine. Um, again, quick attach bucket on there. This thing looks really nice. Got a little bit of mud on there out of Tennessee. That's no big deal. So we can leave it on there if you if you like. So, uh, but we'll probably clean, it, clean that off. So what we're doing on this tractor here on this 303080, let me uh, find out we're doing 1500 bucks off. Okay. And so we're going to get this down to 16.5 for you. Okay. But again, you got to get two attachments with that, but 16.5 for a low hour 303080 here with factory warranty. All right. So get that while it's hot. Okay, next up, we're going to be doing the Kubota. Here's a Kubota for you guys. So this one is, so when I look for Kubota tractors, one of the things that I look for is that I want to make sure they have a quick attach bucket. So I used to not worry about that so much, and I would still get Kubota tractors in, even if they had the pin down bucket. But I just simply can't do that. I see too much value and too much um potential you know for a quick attach bucket for my customers you know and even if they perhaps don't realize it now i get a lot of calls a lot of emails that kind of thing requests to convert their pin down bucket to a quick attach bucket and it's more costly to do so after the fact than if you do so up front so if you're buying new or if you're even if you're buying used get one that has a quick attach bucket on it already all right so Let's go ahead and get through these details here. This is going to be part of the standard L-Series from Kubota. Uh, the L-Series is going to compare with the 3-Series in John Deere, just so you, so you have a comparison sake there. Uh, this machine here has about 185 hours. Okay. You will see the turf tires on here. You can get the R4s. I did have the local Kubota dealer here uh, quote me that. And you have to get new wheels, you know, new rims as well as the tires. That's the downside if you're going to swap over. Honestly, I would try these out if it were me and then uh, switch over to something else if you needed to after that. But turfs are actually, they, they, they need to get a lot more credit than they actually do. So they're a good tire. But uh, quick park loader on here, quick attach bucket. 
39 horsepower or 38 horsepower, sorry. Um, this is a three range hydrostatic transmission on here as well. So very, very nice machine, a little bit heavier duty than the three E series in John Deere. So, but not as heavy duty as a Grandel or as a three R series in John Deere. It's just John Deere and Kubota do a really good job differentiating their, um, their models there. And they do it on purpose, you know, so you have a really tough time comparing, but they're also going to be at slightly different price points. So uh, nothing's really ever apples to apples. There's always some variances there to take into play and take into consideration. So um, very nice machine here. Again, you can add a lot of attachments to this one. Skid steer quick attach on there. Okay. You can kind of see in this view right here, you can see, and if you're shopping around online, see if you can see these little handles in the tractors that you're looking at. Okay. Cause this is going to give you some real good insight that, you know, it's quick attach, the skid steer quick attach. If you don't see this anywhere, then you know, it's going to be a pin down bucket. All right. So this tractor here, we got a 18,999. Let's take a look here. We're knocking 1500 bucks off on this one too, guys. We're going to 17,500 on this one. All right. And keep in mind too, that if you are tax exempt, farm use tax exempt or you know, business use or um, uh, nonprofit, that kind of thing. We can definitely work with you on that, but there is going to be sales tax, even if it does ship out of state, unless you can qualify for one of those reasons. Next one here, guys, is going to be the 2018 1025R TLB with the mower. All right, sweet machine right here. This is a subcompact, okay? So this is decked out to the hilt with all the good stuff. The 2018 is, again, going to be a little bit of a modification and upgrade to the 1025 series of tractors there and the most significant difference in the whole 1025 hour platform that was updated is within the backhoe all right and so if you want one with a backhoe this has that new backhoe on there which has its own seat you can see the black seat right here that's independent from this yellow seat on the old models you used to actually have to take this yellow seat and swivel it around and face back the other way so really nice good improvement there it's going to have the drive over auto connect mower deck on it quick park loader quick attach bucket all the goodies okay so Less than 150 hours on this tractor, okay? So very low hours, a lot of factory warranty on it. Just a, a ton of good stuff, okay? And this one, does it have... Let me take a look here, guys. Yeah, it's a 12-inch bucket that you're going to have on there, okay? It's a 12-inch bucket there. But uh, you can see a little mirror on there, that kind of thing, too. But uh, this one, what are we doing on it? We have it at 19999 and we're knocking 1500 bucks on this one, going to 185 on this one, okay? So a lot of attachments that are designed just for this tractor here. So plenty to choose from. Um, get it before it's gone, man. Okay, next one up here, another subcompact. You know, I need to do a comparison on that new style 1025R TLB versus the latest and greatest from Kubota, Kubota as well. So this is the competing model, the direct competitor to the uh, 1025R TLB, okay? So this is the BX23S, this is a 2017 model. Uh, it's the latest and greatest, what they're currently producing right now. It is 23 horsepower, obviously hydrostatic transmission, still four wheel drive, all that good stuff. Uh, Rosie is not gonna be included, guys. So there's, there's. I'm sorry, but she's just not included. That's just for, um, you know, she's doing a little bit of modeling there, all right? So a lot of cool things about this machine here. You can see it's got a thumb there on the backhoe. It does have the quick attach bucket on here also. And uh, don't forget that this series here does include their redesigned quick attach loader, okay? They have a redesigned quick attach loader, which also includes a single point hydraulic connection, all right? So, and lastly, you can see it right here. Maybe you have a better picture. Oop, there was one back here. Uh, the easy over drive over deck. Okay. And so I actually did a video on this. I really like it. Um, even Kubota dealers don't really love this, but I actually really prefer this system over just the pullout deck. So I would get this, it costs more money to get it, but I would choose to get the easy over deck if it were me, if I was purchasing a tractor new. So we've got this one. This one's actually already marked down. It's on sale. You can see here, this, it means it actually is on sale, you know, marked on sale, not the regular price. So it's already a thousand dollars off. We're going to take it off another thousand down to 17,999. Okay. Again, very good price on there. Only under 200 hours, 184 hours on there. Okay. Next one up here is going to be a 2016 2032R. So um, this is going to be different than the 2038R and the new style 2032R. And again, I've done a video comparing the old versus new. So this one is under factory warranty though. Okay. So uh, let's see here until October of 2022. So you have about two and a half years of warranty. So the good thing about this is if you don't really care so much about the updated redesigned features that are found on the tractors, then you can get into a two series 32 horsepower tractor for thousands of dollars cheaper. And so we're at what I think, um, 
Oh, shoot. Well, a lot more for the other 2032R. <laughs> We're not there yet, so I can't spoil the price. But this one is a lot less money, okay? And so it's still going to come with the quick park loader, quick attach bucket, and it's going to have a drive over mower, but it's not the auto connect mower. So the operator station is not as um, comfortable, I guess. It's not as it's the old style. It's not updated like the uh, the new one is. So you got to take that into consideration, but it's a very nice machine, very capable, going to give you a lot of good capability and performance out of it there. So this one is $18,999, which is actually already on sale, $1,000 off. We had it at $19,999, but we're going to take another thousand bucks off. Yeah, another thousand bucks off. We're going to get that one to $17,999 if you get a couple of attachments with it. Again, even something like a set of pallet forks and a quick hitch will get you the discount that you need there. So if we take a look here really quick, you're going to see the new style 2032R and then the old style right here. So again, functionality wise, as far as what they can do with the uh, lift capacity of the loader and the three point is essentially the same. Um, they're still going to mow grass with the belly mower there, but this is going to be the updated auto connect belly mower that's on here. And the whole operator station has been reworked to get it more similar to what the one series is and uh, fender mount of work lights, a lot of good stuff on here. So, but the price has gone up a lot. And so this one is actually also on sale. Right now, we had it at 25 grand and it's marked down to 23,999 right now. And we're going to take another $2,000 off of this one uh, in, in total. So we're going to go from 25 to down to uh, 22,999. Okay, so 22,999 is going to be the total uh, price on there plus tax, 102 hours. This one's loaded up. You've got these LED work lights that are up top, still have the quick attach bucket and the uh, quick park loader and auto connect deck. You can see the LED uh, light there on the back also. So uh, just a whole bunch of LEDs and nice upgrades on here. And one of the other cool features here is a single point hydraulic connection for the front end loader. Okay, this is about $1,000 right here just to have that option there. So um, let's see, down in the notes here, yes, the mower deck actually was never used. So he bought the mower deck, just never used it. So it's in brand new condition. All right. So now if we want to, let's go ahead and just take a, a quick scroll here. You can see some of the options that are down here. So grapples, if you want to add on a grapple, you do have to have a third function, okay? And so uh, most of these tractors and most tractors in general are not going to have a third function on them. In fact, I don't think a single one of these machines does, okay? That's how uncommon it is. So if you want to get a grapple like this, uh, you're going to need to add on a third function to it, all right? So third, um, other grapples, oh, we have them somewhere. Here's the other grapple options here as well. Uh, something to keep in mind. WorkSaver is actually coming out with, I've got them on order. I just don't have them yet, but this is an actually an electric version of this grapple here, electrically actuated. So it'll just come with a couple little wires that you uh, tie into your battery. And then it's got a little um, clamp on thumb control. So you can operate and actuate that uh, electric um, hydraulic cylinder there and then open and close the grapple that way. So if you don't want to add on a third function, you can get this brush crusher right here, okay? And so I still have to do a video. I'm lagging behind, but uh, you can get one of these brush crushers that does not require the third function. So Google or YouTube brush crusher, you'll see this stuff in action with some other folks, and I'll have a video up before too long. Snow pushers, of course, are always a popular choice. Uh, various sizes there, depending. We can help you with that. Have these loader mounted snow plow blades too from tar river i did a video on here very substantial pieces of equipment uh, 60 inch and 72 inch on those haven't done a video on one of these i need to this is a pole type snow blower okay mounts to your three point but you can drive forward over it okay so the pto shaft would come out here would hook up just like a brush hog does right um, that's the back side back there so you drive forward over the snow and just shoot it out so instead of having to crane your neck and look over your shoulder got the quick hitches here too guys have some tillers here 72 60s there's 48 down here some box blades and i have some used implements as well not a lot but i've got uh, a few box blades and, and a couple sets of pallet forks and some other things as well so do have this ferminator here as well It'd be great for that 4066 m that's for sure uh skid steer to or john deere to skid steer quick attach adapter there that's a pretty cool thing there i sell a handful of those got another cedar right here okay 72 inch but you can pull this even on a two series tractor of course we have a lot of brush hogs and uh, and pallet forks too okay so there you go guys that's the secret sale again these prices are only on youtube they're not going to be anywhere else and not on the website so if you go there and you see different prices that's the reason why so these prices are only what i stated in the video there again i wrote them down my cheat sheet here i've got them you get two attachments you got to buy two attachments to get that price all right and then we can help with financing we can help with delivery and this is only good until the end of the month so february 29th hey thanks so much for watching hit that subscribe button below go over to facebook hit like there Instagram, follow me there too. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.